Join me again, everyone. Channel Futures Editorial Director Craig Galbraith here. Always a great opportunity on Channel Futures TV to welcome in Craig Schlagbaum. Craig is Senior Vice President of Indirect Channels at Comcast Business. Craig, great to see you as always. Hey, thanks, Craig. Good to be with you here today again. All right, so you recently posted a blog, interesting, provocative, on the changes happening in our industry and some tips on the way uh, that a partner can navigate for long-time success. You've been on the channel your entire career, of course. Uh, therefore, you have a really unique view and opinion on the changes happening and what you predict uh, we'll see here over the course of the next year. I I'm curious, I I'd love to discuss a few of the points um, made in your article. First of all, uh, the changes happening due to M&A and consolidation. You describe this as a significant shift in our industry. Uh, what do you think a solution provider needs to think about and, and consider when choosing the right supplier for their customer solutions? Well, it's a great uh, point to look at because, you know, history can be a great teacher. And, and back in time, when this channel began, there was really a locus around a lot of core providers because they were always reliable. They could pay the commissions and they were behind the channel. But and since those times, there's been a lot of new entrants and some are smaller companies. And in a time where the economy is uh, dubious, there may be some challenges. And so, you know, it's important to be aligned to providers, I think, that are well capitalized, well funded, and can pay commissions and have demonstrated they can do so over the long haul. It's not about 8x up front and high residuals. It, it's about, you know, having a relationship that you can count on that your clients can trust so that if there are challenges, that that company is going to survive. And, and we've proven that, of course, at Comcast over the last 12 years, we've been very focused on this channel and, you know, with our acquisition of Mesa G even more so. So I think it's important that trusted advisors really examine their portfolio and, and decide in the next five to 10 years who they're going to align with closely. Yeah, so let's talk about Mesa G a, a little more. It's really given not only you personally, but Comcast uh, a unique view into this disruption uh, that you're talking about. Uh, how's that integration going and what lessons did you learn? Uh, how also is Comcast business maybe positioned differently to be successful and win going forward? Well, the world's changed for us significantly. I think we went from what most people think of as an MSO or a cable company into a global networking solutions company, and, and particularly secure global networking. So that now is a new dimension. And connectivity was always our strong suit. But now we can manage networks far and wide across multiple continents and provide security, which is the most important element that the trusted advisors are looking at now. And we can do that all in the belly of a company that's $120 billion and a $10 billion division of that company. And so I think that's a new dimension. It gives a lot of confidence to the channel. And um, overall, I think what we've done is we put in one program now versus two separate ones, one single channel team and one overall model to support the channel. And it took us time to get there. And we just had a recent partner event in Arizona talking to our top partners. And we finally put this thing together. And now we have our uh, solutions advisor program, which is the new iteration of our channel program. I think we're really well suited for the, the future and we put together a great combination that's great for the channel. All right, so speaking of the future, uh, let's talk about uh, some predictions that you might have on, on what's coming and what partners need to be prepared for to successfully navigate and, and continue to be those trusted advisors for their customers. Yeah, it's a new time, a new uh, dawning of a new era, so to speak. I, I think this channel traditionally has been largely former employees of various telecom companies. And, and that's changing into, you know, not so much selling traditional telecom solutions, but selling solutions that involve security, involve cloud, involve UCAS, CCAS, other dimensions. And all those services now are critical. And I think that's a, a big change. But also what's a big change is, you know, that, that I've seen, and we've seen some of the largest sales that we've ever had close, including the single largest in 12 years in the last uh, month, from partners who have sort of an ecosystem model of, you know, how they operate. So they may know, for example, a lot about telecom, but they also have telecom expense management providers in their portfolio of alliances. They have companies like insurance companies who provide insurance, but also need cybersecurity for their clients. They have accounting firms, they have real estate firms, they have a compendium of a partner ecosystem that provides them leads. 
and they all are experts in their areas. And so I'm seeing a new dimension. It's not just, you know, going from where these partners were once as former sort of direct reps for major telecom companies, but building partner ecosystems and being very advanced in how they go to their clients and, and help solve their business problems. And, and they need to do that with an ecosystem of partners. And that's the recipe we think that's going to work for success. And uh, any partner that does that, any solutions advisor, I think is going to be well positioned for the coming decade. Yeah, it's been exciting to watch that evolution for sure. Craig Schlagbaum, Comcast Business, as always, thanks for joining me on Channel Futures TV. Thanks, Craig.